Welcome back to another refactoring video. And today I want to show you how you can refactor a long list of function arguments into an object. So let's look at some code. We have a very simple example just to make the point. So we have process data, uh, name, age, address, phone, email, and then it just prints that. And it just prints uh, processing data with the variables. And this can be any code, uh, just imagine this is something more complex where the body does more things. But what happens here is that you have like five arguments and you always have to remember to call them in the right order, but they're also somewhat related. So one refactoring you can do is turn those five arguments into an object. So let's do a data class. You can also do a name tuple. Uh, but let's make a data class called not all but person and hopefully that picks up on this otherwise I will just type it yeah it does okay <laughs> um, so we have name age address phone email with their corresponding type hints age is an integer the rest can just be strings and here now we can replace all these arguments with a person object you can also type hint that accordingly and then the only thing we need to change is to um, use the person object in the function and also refactor the calling of the function using that object, right? So this becomes person.name, person.age, person.address, person.phone, person.email. Again, contrived example, just to make the point. And here, instead of calling with five arguments, which will now fail, also already fills because my indenting is off. I mean, it introduced a, uh, a line break, basically. Yeah, so now it says process data takes one position argument, but five were given because we updated the signature. So what I now need to do is make a person object, which I can do here, and pass in that person object. And then it works again. So this is a form to better organize your code by using grouping. Um, you also have the additional benefit of type hints. Again, a data class is mutable. You could also use a name tuple here. And that should work the same. Yeah, with the additional benefit, then I cannot override the attributes. Which were a data class that would have been possible. Uh, but yeah, again, a form of grouping. And um, yeah, when you can reduce the amount of arguments given into the function, that's generally better. Another refactoring is how to group functions into a class and that usually happens when you start to have different functions with the same arguments and that will be the topic of the next refactoring video hope to see you there